Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a quick review for Paw Patrol on a roll on Xbox. Let's take a look. So, Paw Patrol on a roll was the first Paw Patrol video game on consoles. It's developed by Taurus Games and it was published by Outright Games. And this game features the sort of core original eight members of the Paw Patrol, including Ryder and people like Everest and Tracker. In it, you basically have to save the day in Adventure Bay across a variety of missions using each of the different pups and their unique abilities to rescue friends and obviously save the day. Now the game takes place over eight different locations from the TV show including Farmer Yumi's Farm, Jake's Mountain, Desert Canyons, Underwater and a variety of others. Now the game features a uh, very sort of simple puzzle platforming sections, collecting port Patrol treats like pup treats and collecting um, Paw Patrol badges. Now, as you progress through each of the levels, you'll come to sections where you have to decide um, which of your friends is the best to help in the situation. Usually, it's something like um, I need to use Chase to clear the way or Marshall to put out a fire or something like that. You have to just pick the best pup for the job. Now, there's 16 different missions to work your way through and um, like I say through each of them you play as a variety of the different pups two in each mission so you'll sort of switch between the two as you're playing and yeah it's a fun little game for kids if your kid likes Paw Patrol then this is something that's definitely gonna appeal to them so what did we think of the game Honestly, this isn't a bad start to the sort of franchise on console. The only downside to this game compared to the future ones is I believe it is only single player, whereas the future instalments you can have multiple uh, players, so you can have like two people playing as both pups at the same time. However, like I say, story-wise and gameplay-wise, it does play very similar to the future installments obviously they do make improvements as they progress and they add new things however like i say the core gameplay of collecting the um the pup treats and the the badges is exactly the same as in future installments now if you're a fan of the franchise or your kids really enjoy the show then they'll probably really love this game it looks great like i say it looks like the paw patrol it has all of the locations all of the characters and stuff like that it's a very simple story to sort of follow like i said they're very much sort of self-contained missions basically about saving a animal at the end of them or something like that so children won't get confused and it does explain pretty much everything step by step it tells them what they have to do what buttons to press if they're a bit unsure or they get something wrong it doesn't, it doesn't punish them for that they have to then just pick another option which is nice so kids of any age can play and enjoy it without having to worry the um, difficulty isn't very difficult at all the there is the replayability of going back and replaying the levels to make sure you've got all of the collectibles however you don't need to collect them all to sort of finish all of the missions Overall, like I say, the game isn't bad at all if you're a fan of Paw Patrol or you're into, uh, like I say, the, the franchise, like you've got your kids that want to play it and stuff like that and they watch the TV show. It's not the longest of games, you'll get through it in a couple of hours, but kids, like I say, will probably go back and replay it and stuff like that as well. I just would recommend probably also trying out the future instalments that do add a load of improvements and obviously the co-op is a big big thing that's missing in this release paw patrol on a roll is a great game for kids who love the franchise it is a very simple sort of puzzle platforming-esque game that will get a little repetitive as you go along because the missions are very much in the same vein as you progress it sort of do 
go here, collect so much, move to the next point, do this one sort of choice, move along, do another choice, move along, save friend, family, complete mission, etc. It's um, it's aimed at younger kids, so adults probably won't enjoy it that much. But younger sort of kids under sort of six will probably really enjoy the game and get a lot out of it. Now for you grown adults who enjoy the series, you'll probably enjoy it as well. And if you're not really into the series, but you are a gamer who collects gamer score and likes to get 1000 gamer score, this is a very simple 1000 gamer score that you can get in a handful of hours just by simply completing the game and collecting all the collectibles, which aren't difficult to do. So great for achievements. Great for younger kids who are fans of the show. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, check it out. It's available right now on Xbox. It is priced at $24.99, so I would recommend picking it up in a sale uh, or picking it up in a bundle with one of the other Paw Patrol games because that's the only downside of this one is it isn't as... Um, featureful as the future installments it's still not bad but the 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 future releases like the super pups and uh the movie one do add mini games and more content and stuff like that which this one just doesn't have unfortunately but big thank you to outright games for letting us be an ambassador of their uh, games over the christmas period it's been great to do some family friendly content you can check out some of our other reviews of their games including we've done jojo siwa's worldwide party we've done dreamworks spirit we've done ugly dolls and we've got a handful more coming including the star trek game fast and the furious all sorts of stuff coming over the next week or two so keep an eye out on the channel hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more gaming content bye for now guys